Hello everyone, welcome to another tutorial. My name is William. In this tutorial video, I would like us to look at Laravel observers. And uh, Laravel observers are classes that listen to specific events that occur within an application. And this is specifically within a model. Uh, so it observes events when a model is saved, updated or deleted. Observers allow you to hook into these events and perform additional tasks or actions based on the event that occurred. Uh, let us go ahead and uh, create an observer. So I'm going to just open terminal and we are going to run a command that is going to create for us a user observer. I, I would like to just create that one because I think it can be easy for us to be able to relate. So we are going to have PHP run the command PHP artisan make observer. And in this case, we will call our observer user observer. And then we are going to tag the model, which is a user. So this observer will be attached to a model called user model. So I'm going to press enter to create our observer and it has been created successfully. So when you go to app, under app, we can be able, under the folder app, we can be able to see a folder called observers. When I open it, we can be able to have user observer. So when I open this user observer, this is what we are going to see. Inside here, of course, we have the namespace and then we are also using the app models user. As you can see, we have created and we have updated and we have deleted and we have restored. So, um, and also we have force deleted. So here we can be able to uh, perform tasks inside these sort of like hooks. So in this case, when a user has been created, in this case, they have been saved in the database, we can be able to do some things here. Or we can be able to put a logic, for example, the logic for sending an email and uh, maybe maybe the logic of updating something in the database also and so on and so forth. And then, of course, we have uh, when the user is updated. So probably you might want when somebody does an update, maybe an admin is, is uh, informed about it or something, or maybe it's logged somewhere for purposes of protecting uh, the application. Or even we can also be able to log uh, the user or in other words, the person who updated this record in this case in our database. And then of course we have deletion. So here is where somebody deletes maybe a user. We can be able to log something there or maybe perform a business logic. And then here we have when a user has been restored and this is now for soft deletes. So this one is for uh, soft deletes when um, a user is restored when they had been deleted. And then here is a permanent delete in this case where now a user is uh, deleted even from the um, a soft delete uh, uh, records in this case. So I would just like to go and uh, see how we can be able to register this observer in our event service provider. So um, we are going to open um, providers, then event service provider, and then we are going to register our, our um, observer. So the first thing we are going to do, we are going to import the observer here. So use app observers. Sorry, that is the folder and then in this case we are going to have user observer because I think that is how we named it. Then we are also going to import the model so use app models user like that has to be capitalized so use app models user and then after that now we can either register it in two ways we can register it in the boot function of the event service provider and uh, this is what we are going to have so if we are to register it here we are just going to say user observe and then we are going to pass our observer so in this case user observer class like that and that would be it so this is as i've said one way of uh, registering it 
or else we can also be able to register it in a similar fashion as we have uh, these uh, listeners being registered and this is what we are going to do we can say protected observers and then we are going to set an array of values so inside here we can be able to put all the observers that we can be able to have so user class and in this case this points to the user observer class like that user observer sorry user observer class like that so even this one can also be able to uh, work for us so we will use one of them you cannot be able to use to have the two of them the one that we have registered in the boot method and also this other one it's not uh, possible for you to use both of them so we are going to comment one of them out I'm going to comment this one out and uh, maybe just close the comment here so just one is required you don't need both of them like that and so we have successfully been able to register observer and then the next thing of course we can be able to do is to check if it works but for us to be able to do it i think um, it's proper for me to maybe find a way in which i can be able to do it and in this case i would like to just install um, a package that will be able to create for us some uh, authentication so php artisan uh, i mean composer require sorry composer require laravel ui and then this command you install laravel ui so let me just pause the video temporarily the package is installed successfully so i uh, would like to clear and then i can also go ahead and uh, generate the authentication scaffolding so in this case i'm going to say php artisan ui let me bootstrap you can just use bootstrap and then hyphen hyphen out like that then i will go ahead and run npm install And as it continues installing our pause we have uh, finished uh, in uh, running the command npm install so i would just like us to run npm run dev and of course everything is perfect with that i would like to open a new terminal and uh, be able to um, run uh, migration so in, so in this case php artisan migrate but before we do that let me just connect to our database in this case i'm working on windows zamp so i'll just start both mysql and apache for zamp and then how you run the command php artisan migrate and since i have a table that is similar to because i'm just using the default uh, laravel um, whatever it is that is included in the env here i'm just using exactly what we have here so our database name should be called uh, laravel so yes i'm not going to change this one so i will just uh, run the command php artisan migrate fresh because there is another uh, application that i did which i still use the same database so i want everything deleted and then everything restored so it has dropped all the tables and it has brought back the new tables in this case i can go ahead and run php artisan serve and now when we open uh, uh, chrome we can be able to run our application and uh, as you can see we have login and register and this one has been uh, created by the package that we have just installed that is laravel ui and now i want us to just uh, attempt and register a user but before we register the user i want us to just check if actually this observer is checking something when the user is created so in this case i would just like to come to where the user is created and i would just like to say uh, just put dd 
maybe user so in this case just return whatever it is or whatever user has been created so let us go and attempt and uh, create a user and creating a user in this case is not using the login method we will actually be using the register method yes so we can uh, attempt and um, login a user so in this case I mean register a user in this case I am just going to say John Doe and then uh, I've even mistyped John Doe the email address John at example.com the password again the password maybe like that when I click register as you can see whatever is happening is that uh, we are having um, something that is being returned here and when we check the data in this case uh, whatever it is that we have in the array we have whatever it is that we are being created so in, in this case this method the created method in our observer is being called so here we can be able to perform one or two things and I would like us to just uh, maybe modify something but remember this user is already persistent in the database but i want us to just modify one thing and be able maybe to create a user role maybe uh, just to see that there's something that you have entered in the database using this created function and then i believe that you'll be good enough for this tutorial so let us attempt and do that so what i would like us to do we will uh, comment this one but i want us to go ahead and uh, maybe just pick the user that has been passed here and then give them a role and in this case we are going to set their role to zero and then we are going to save this user so user uh, save so in this case sort of like something like an update but remember because this is an update it will also trigger uh, the updated uh, it will also trigger the updated uh, function within the observer but I do not want to check that one so let me just save and maybe here we can try and check that one also so did the uh, user so in this case you try and see if the user will now have a role in the table but first of all I want us to modify our model and then see what happens so let, let's go to database migration user migration so I want to add a column which we are going to call role so here I would just like to have table and then uh, uh, integer maybe integer and we are going to call it role and I will set it to nullable because uh, when the created function is called the user has already been saved so if we do not do that it will create an error so let me just set it to nullable because it is something that we will be doing on an update so like that and then I'm going to do the migrations once again so PHP artisan migrate in this case fresh so it you create a migration now with this uh, role field so let us attempt again and see if we can be able to save a user so um, of course the user that we had created has been deleted so again you go to the register method and register another user so again John Doe uh, the email again will be I do not know yes the email will be John Doe at example.com the password will be and then the password again like that let us try to create and again now you can see that uh, we have this and this means when we look at what we have just done in our observer we where we had uh, where we were you can see I've uncommented the uh, DD that we're having here so there is nothing that should be appearing from there but actually because whatever it is that we are doing is updating so this uh, sort of code is coming from here and when we check it under the array we can see 
that we have that the roll is actually zero. So in this case, everything has actually worked perfectly. Uh, uh, so um, also you can be able to continue and maybe do anything when these other methods are also called. But in this case, we have been able to check the created and I believe we have also been able to create to check the updated because it's something that we have we have seen that has uh, also happened. So I would like to thank you very much for following this tutorial up until this point. I ask that you may subscribe, that you may leave a comment, that you may also comment with anything that you would like me to talk about. I appreciate very much for your support. Thank you.